And I want to tell you first that Twitter has been working diligently to get these podcasts featured inside of their app. Now, what has happened is that I think a lot of people have misconceptions about how it's going to work. It is only rolled out in a very limited release, a small test group. And one of my accounts happens to be one of the test groups. And that's what I'm going to share with you. And I also want to say some things may be a little different in position on screen if you have an Android versus if you have an iPhone. Also, I have Twitter blue. So there's a, there's a lot of things that may look a little different, but I think you're still going to have the same uh, impact with your Twitter spaces as well as being able to consume podcasts now on Twitter. All right. So now let me put this up now. I just want to hear from, can everybody hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. <laughs> because what I want to do is, <laughs> oh, you guys are so wonderful. Thank you. Yes, you can hear me. All right, great. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to back up and go to, my, this is the profile where I have this feature. Okay. And like I said, it's just rolled out yesterday. So if you don't have it yet, just be patient. Don't at me. Okay. I don't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I don't even have it on my main account, but I do have it on this account. So what I need to do is go to the home, tap on my profile. Now you see at the top on the left-hand side, you see where it says Twitter blue, which I do have on this account. And then it says audio. That's what we're going to go into. Now for you, this button may appear on the bottom row. It may appear on the bottom row. All right. Now I'll go into audio. So the first thing that we see here is news. Now I really appreciate this and actually I get most of my news from Twitter. I got to be honest with you. And these are the really popular podcasts. And it tells you featuring top ranked podcasts. And so when you tap on the play button, you see here that these podcasts are the ones that are really, um, you know, very well known. The Daily, it's been considered the number one podcast, and you know. And there's more news podcasts here. So let me show you how to get to those other news podcasts. Look at the bottom of the screen and you'll see an, a little arrow that's on the right-hand side. All right. And you can see the different ones that it's scrubbed through. Also, on the left-hand side, you see something that looks like a file cabinet right? And that is really showing you everything there that's in that list. Now, I don't know how often this updates. I don't know if they do it in the middle of the night when the U S is sleeping or, or whatever, but you know that you can go there and get that day's news in podcast format. So now th that's, what's really exciting because these are very popular. There's going to be a lot of people who are coming in here looking for podcasts and looking to see what's available. So that's why this very next feature is the one that just blew me away. And that I think everyone, especially those that have Twitter spaces who are Twitter spaces hosts are going to love. And that is when you scrub over scroll over, swipe, whatever. <laughs> this is where the Twitter spaces live right next to the news. So before people get to go into any other stations of content, you've got news and then you've got Twitter spaces. Now I believe what shows up in here, and this is what's called your daily digest. 
I believe what shows up in here are spaces that you recently attended, spaces that your friends or people that you're connected with have hosted recently. And since it's daily digest, like I said, I don't know what time that clock resets. Okay. But you're going to be able to push on that play button. And, um, in this case, this particular one is live so that you're going to be able to join that space. This is great for spaces hosts. This is another way that people can see that you are your space is live or that you recently done a space because if there were any recent spaces that would show up here and you could navigate the same way I just showed you and then people would be able to see or, or listen to your recording. Ah, amazing. All right. So we're just going to scroll through and see what else we have here. Business and finance. Now we're back into actual podcasts, right? So we had podcasts that were news spaces and now we're back to podcasts okay so you've got business and finance once again you have the navigation down at the bottom where you can scrub through it's all those popular podcasts that you probably already know about tim ferris gary v sorry it jumped back uh oh then oh it scrub it moved around because now there's sports there maybe because it thought well she left that category business and finance. Maybe she wants sports. Okay. So let me just pause now and see some of your initial reactions from what we've seen so far. Oh my gosh, you guys are so amazing. All right. <laughs> and let's see if I can get to, uh, um, Bobby is saying she even does that on Twitter and that's make mistakes like the ones I made earlier. And, um, according to have a Twitter space, do you need to have a certain subscriber count? Great question. And I'm also going, that just reminds me that I also need to reformat the size of this comment box. So bear with me while I do that, everyone. So to answer that question, no. USA live stream. No, everybody pretty much has access to Twitter spaces. So if you have a Twitter account and I think you have to verify your phone number or something like that, which you should do anyway. All right. So yeah, do it, you know, host your Twitter spaces, get your voice out there. I encourage it highly. And, <laughs> and Gretchen, she has glitches sometimes. I never do. <laughs> Just kidding, Gretchen, you know that. And um, of course my girl Alice says, yep, the same for her. And glitches is what makes live streaming good, funny moments. Yeah, I know y'all were laughing at me, but that's okay. <laughs> I love y'all, y'all can do that. <laughs> All right. Just don't click on lay, lay the space. Yeah, I actually, I did an extra precaution to mute the phone. So they, but thank you. That was a great suggestion. I don't have it. I'm patient. Yes. Thank you, Bobby, for saying that. Be patient, you know, and I understand that a lot of times people hear that this new feature is out on Twitter and they get all like, I'm clicking on it and I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. Don't. Yeah. That's because they don't watch videos like this one to tell you that it's not rolled out to everybody. It's still in testing mode. And you can see kind of why it's still in testing mode because they wanna see what are you consuming? And for example, I'll give you, and I should have had the screen up. Well, for example, I will give you um, another thing that lets you know how they're testing. And I don't wanna do it on the Twitter space. I'm gonna do it on the podcast. You have a thumbs up and a thumbs down. So that's letting Twitter know whether you like this content or not. So yeah, if you, they see a pattern of a lot of thumbs down on certain content, I can only assume because Twitter has been listening. I got to give them credit. They are totally like polar opposites of another platform whose name I won't mention, but starts with an M and it has four characters, four letters. <laughs> 
they are actively listening. They're even hosting Twitter spaces and allowing users to come in, give feedback, ask questions, and they are acting on the feedback that they get. So right now, Twitter is like, like here's YouTube and here's Twitter. But YouTube keeps... <laughs> All right, so let's see what else we have here. Um, oh, my darling daughter is here. Hey, Nicole. Hey, everybody. There's Nicole. And if you want to keep up with her uh, Bible classes that she does, make sure you follow her on that account. And we got another account for the real estate stuff. <laughs> this topic piece piqued my husband's attention. He is the big Twitter user. Well, I want you all to at least have an, a presence on Twitter. I really do. I think that there's really no downsides because, you know, even though I don't, I don't support this or endorse this, but you can t totally automate your Twitter and still get traction for your content. You know, you can use all kinds of tools to put tweets out there, quotes and things like that. But how you really want to get something out of their platform is to use something like Spaces and also to, you know, go in there and engage, look at other people's content. And it's just a fantastic place to follow the news. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> and everybody's saying hi, Nicole. And Bobby's saying that her main platform is Twitter. Yeah, well, my main platform is YouTube. and But Twitter, and yeah, I showed y'all the, the, the whole gauge anyway. <laughs> All right, so now let's go back to the other content that you're going to be able to find in here. All right, so we talked about the news is first, then your Twitter spaces. Mm, let, 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 just let that marinate. Hmm. All our Twitter spaces hosts and lovers of Twitter spaces. And notice things switch, switched around. The icon switched around. So that means somebody else's space has started because this is a daily digest. And you see there is um, one of the um, NFT profiles. And um, that one's not familiar to me. I don't recall who that is. It must be somebody I'm following. And, you know, there you go. It's a little different than it was when I was here before. All right, so there's sports. Not my cup of tea, but entertainment news. I mean, sometimes we all like to have that entertainment news and find out who's doing what, who got divorced, who just got kicked off of a movie set, you know, those kinds of things. And then just entertainment. Music. We all can spend some time there finding out what's going on in, uh, with music podcasts. All right, let's just go into this one so we can see what's here. And Issa Rae is on Drink Champs. I found out about that because um, Patti LaBelle was on, and that comes on TV as well. So anyway, let's leave that section. And here's movies. We can all spend some time there. Um next gen investor tv hey how are you <laughs> and bobby says i'm just now getting serious about youtube so transitioning live streaming here plus i'm live loving shorts getting so many views and followers from shorts just started last week liking them I am going to table this topic of shorts. So before we leave, because those of you who are here for the live are going to hear about some updates for shorts that you're going to love. All right. So there we have it. Now, one thing I didn't do yet, I'm going to go back to the beginning, is scroll down or swipe up, I should say, because this is Spaces Spotlight. And these um, news... News channels are also hosting spaces. And I think that's why there's a spaces spotlight. Not 100% sure about that, but I think that that's what's going on. They're recording their news broadcast, but they're also having a Twitter space connected with it. And that could be why they're being so featured. Now, 
another section as space is ocean. This is another way spaces gets discovered. I, I want that to marinate. That's why I paused. This is another way spaces get discovered. The upcoming spaces are at the bottom here of this very first row where the news is. You got the spotlight and it seems like there's only three spaces spotlights. All right. And then, oh, look, our lovely Bobby Bickers right there. Her space is there for us to check out today at 3 p.m. Eastern. It's always going to show in your time zone. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to click on this. And I love, love, love. Now, we're kind of segueing into Twitter spaces now. But this is the whole reason why as someone who is a Twitter space should be excited about this whole podcast or audio stations. I've heard it, the names used interchangeably. All right. So now I can set a reminder, which will give me a reminder in Twitter, or I can do something for me that's even better and add it to calendar. And I have two choices, my Google calendar or my Apple calendar. Well, me personally, is always going to be my Google Calendar. <laughs> but if you have Apple Calendar and you like it, as a fact, matter of fact, my daughter and I had that conversation yesterday and she uses them all, you know, because she's fabulous that way. So I can add it to my calendar, all right? And you're, you can tell your people during your space or on Twitter or in a live stream or wherever that, you know, your space is coming up or um, that you know about another person who's having an amazing space, like I'm sharing the one that Bobby is having. And so let people know that not only can you share it, but and set a reminder, you can also add it to your calendar. Now, this is actually a lot better than it is in the actual Twitter app, because when you're on the Twitter side when you tap on that that upcoming space you may not know that you need to long press on it in order to bring up the calendar option but this brings the calendar up right away by default love it and i could just share it and in this case i'm going to share it right now in a tweet all right just get it out there Okay. <laughs> so I love, love, love this feature. So we're seeing other upcoming spaces and this particular Twitter account doesn't follow that many people. So if I was on my main Twitter account, there'd probably be a list of about 10 or 15 upcoming spaces. This is amazing feature. And I am going to come over here and see what you all are saying. Whew. Yes, this is exciting. All right. <laughs> and uh, looking forward to seeing you there. If you can share some resources would be amazing. I'll see what I can do. I try my best. And uh, great info, loving tips and ideas. Last week we had Art Law was a good one. Ooh. Oh, it sounds really, really good. And I love what Bobby is doing, and I want this to be a lesson for you all, is that consistency. And I admit, not my strong point when it comes to, you know, Twitter spaces, but being consistent, building that audience, you know, and I'm not going to pick on Bobby, but I'm just going to say, you start off on Periscope and then that goes away and you start migrating to another platform. Then that platform goes away. So you have to be nimble. You have to be able to um, follow, I don't wanna say follow the trends, but you have to be able to adapt to the trends and you have to look for, and I recommend looking for these major platforms, all right, 
looking for major platforms, not the fly by night ones that are here one year and gone the next, but a platform like Twitter, which is solid, even though whether it gets acquired by someone else or not, Twitter's not going anywhere. Twitter is like mainstream. Like you see Twitter on the news, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so I recommend that you find one that you feel comfortable with and stick with that. But in the meantime, you always, always, always got to build your email list. Okay. Don't forget that. Build your email list. Social media is wonderful. Podcasting is amazing. YouTube is the bestest, but you got to build your email list. All right. <laughs> Uh, I even put an alarm if I don't want to miss. Yeah. Oh yeah. My Google calendar. That's why I use Google calendar because my Google calendar is set. Whenever I put an event on my Google calendar, I get an email and I get, um, an actual like pulsating notification on my phone, which is unusual because I don't have notifications on my phone. You know, like for example, I'll just show you how I don't have notifications on my phone. How many of y'all have all these icons on your phone and without little numbers next to them saying <laughs> like you got 299 notifications. Uh, Cause I don't get notifications on my phone. Like my phone rings when Nicole calls me, or my friend, Mr. Rodney calls me <laughs> pretty much. That's it. But I do have my Google calendar to give me like that little buzz. And, uh, that's why I use that one. It's something that's super important. And, and, you know, I'm not trying to give you a Google calendar tutorial. I'm just saying, <laughs> don't get yourself stressed out over notifications, but make sure if something's really important to you that you do set that notification and encourage your audience to set notifications for your stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh, Gretchen says she just followed Bobby. Gretchen, you're going to love it because it's art all, and photography and art, you know, they, that, that is art. So <laughs> yes. And, and she's so loving and so generous. So <laughs> well said news always quotes tweets. Yes. I don't have notifications and my phone is always on mute. Oh, there you go. That's what, you know, that's how we can wake up in the morning and go, whoo, <laughs> and some people just, you know, some things just, and, and it's really just about your personal temperament and like what it means to you. Like sometimes when I log in on my desktop, I log into, let's say my mail and people talk about inbox zero. It doesn't bother me that my inbox says I have 9,000 emails and that I don't pay that number. No mind. <laughs> And so some of you may do that with your phones. <laughs> you may see those little red things and like pay them no mind. But that's not the point. The point of a notification is that you want to remember something, right? Okay. So, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to, um, ah, shucks. Whew. Almost pushed high by mistake. <laughs> there you go. I wanted to make sure you guys see that. Gretchen, my pin post is a link to artists on Twitter community. Please do join all artists welcomed. And yes, I do also want to talk really quickly before I talk about YouTube for all of you who want to know what, um, I have to tell you about YouTube. Uh, Twitter has also launched something called communities, which is just like, uh, it's a Facebook group, but it's on Twitter. So, you know, it's better right? You know, it's better because it's, it's easier. <laughs> it's easier and it's, it's less, um, confusion. How about if I use that terminology? Uh, my email is a six is at 64 K C. But Alice is like, I don't care about those 64,000. <laughs> One day I just wake up and just say, ah, delete them all. <laughs> Please tell people about communities feature Eileen. Yes. So I, I, um, let's see. I, I think I feel, no, I don't want to screen share communities cause I, you know, 
just for people's privacy, okay? But I'll give you an example of a community that um, you all may want to be interested in. And that is once you start doing Twitter spaces, if you have any problems or anybody in your audience gives you feedback or problems, there is a Twitter spaces feedback, make sure it says feedback, community that's run by Twitter. Because like I said earlier, Twitter is listening. And you can go in there and I've actually had two of my problems resolved. One is still pending. Uh, they didn't get back to me about that one yet. But that was kind of like, it wasn't exactly spaces. It was really a Twitter blue question. But yeah, so um, like Bobby has the artists on Twitter community. And I'm, I haven't joined that one yet. I'm in so many, but my friend Hoseline has the cre content creator community. There's just an, an amazing feature of Twitter and how Twitter has really tried to make sure they provide all kinds of ways for us as creators and as communities, not just creators but for us to connect with like-minded people, people that support us and people that can help us, right? We're just, you know, and people that we can help because Bobby and I are like, you know, yeah, we're helping people, but we also get so much back by ways of, you know, like see how Bobby's here in the chat helping me. Bobby is a big deal, y'all. <laughs> I just want y'all to know that. Oh my God, Eileen, please join. You are a creator. Okay, dear. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> I'm a photographer, but my YouTube channel highlights children. So literature and the art and artists that make the book special. Retired school librarian here. Yes. I, you know, I have an amazing community uh, and some of them overlap. And so Gretchen is part of um, our Let's Get Live community with Doc Rock and Ecamm Live and all that good stuff. And I just love that you're here. I know Assembly Obs was here earlier. And, you know, I just love seeing the intersection of the different communities because I probably should have told you about Bobby a long time ago, but the opportunity didn't present itself. But here we are now, and you guys definitely are a great uh, connection. I learn from you all the time, Eileen. I appreciate all you do. Oh, thank you, Bobby. <laughs> all right. All right. So really quickly, and I just got a bunch of hearts from USA live stream. I do want to tell you all about shorts because the shorts came up and I want to tell you what's going on with shorts now because Bobby mentioned that she's been getting a lot of traction on her shorts. I hope Bobby that you have all your content on one channel because what's happening now, is a lot of people were creating a second channel for shorts because they thought it was going to hurt their main channel. And YouTube has come out and said they have already, um, you know, done ran the numbers and shorts are helping creators and their long form content get discovered. People are seeing your shorts. This is what's different about TikTok. Cause with TikTok, it doesn't stick. It's not sticky. Like you might have a bunch of subscribers on TikTok. And if you, somebody says, you know, what's that person's name? It, they would be like, I don't even know their name. I just know I, I, I watch the TikToks. <laughs> but whereas with YouTube, People are saying, oh, I like this creator. I'm going to watch some of their long form content. So you, you know, if you can, you may also want to mention that in your shorts that, you know, there's more on my channel or something like that. But mm, 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 this just happened or was mentioned one day this week. And uh, uh, my friend Nick Nimmin talked about it. He has a news uh, um, segment that he does on his channel. Now, if you're not familiar with Nick Nimmin, he's a big deal on YouTube. And, uh, now search is going to work 
on shorts. Because y'all know YouTube is a search engine, right? The number two search engine in the world, but you couldn't search for shorts before. Like if you search for um, how to run a Twitter space, it wasn't going to bring you up any shorts, but now it is. Yay! And YouTube has also done their own integration with podcasting. However, um, there's more to come about that. I'm going to leave that for a separate video, but right now, I think that Twitter uh, integration with podcasting is more beneficial for creators like myself and you, especially if you're hosting Twitter spaces. Now, if you're just a podcast listener, I don't want to say just, but if you are a podcast listener, then yeah, YouTube may be a way for you to discover a new podcast that you, that, that you want to listen to or watch. I'll use my air quotes. And my daughter says, I, as I add quotes, my whole hand. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, boy, there is so much opportunity. Things are just changing so quickly. You guys, you have to keep up. That's why I'm here. I want to make sure y'all keep up with what's going on here. <laughs> and, um... I search everything on YouTube. Yes, I do too. And that, I'm so glad now that uh, my shorts are going to show up in search because I have some shorts about Twitter. And um, Gretchen is saying thanks. And shorts, oh, shorts are like um, Instagram Reels or um, TikTok videos. They're vertical videos and they have to be less than 60 seconds. Now, that wasn't a question, but since you said it like that with the exclamation points, oh, I figured it would be a good time for me to tell somebody in case they didn't know. <laughs> Gretchen, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow, Gretchen, that's amazing. <laughs> We're here. Okay. And okay, there. Oh, yeah, Gretchen has, <laughs> she is on an amazing streak going live every day. And, and that's why, you know, Gretchen is a great example of someone who wasn't going live. I remember, I remember Gretchen when you weren't even going live yet. And then you started going live and now you're hooked, hooked <laughs> on the live stream. And guess what? You do a Twitter space, you be hooked on Twitter spaces too. <laughs> Yes, you will. Oh my gosh. You all are so wonderful. I have some additional bonus content for you and I am going to say goodbye to everybody who's watching in the replay because I'm going to cut the video right here. So be sure to watch another video that YouTube thinks that you will like. Now, those of you who are here for the bonus content, LinkedIn LinkedIn is getting into the audio game. There's a way I can set a marker inside of Ecamm, but I can't remember how to do it. So <laughs> I'm not going to press on something and, and shut down the stream. So LinkedIn has something called social audio events. Now, LinkedIn is way behind Twitter in terms of developing of features and all that. So like right now you can do an audio event on LinkedIn, but you can't record it. So it's kind of like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but if we all remember, that's how Twitter spaces was when it first came out. And so if you're someone who's on LinkedIn or thinking about LinkedIn, I want you to tune in tomorrow. There is an audio event and I don't know how quickly I could come up with the link for that. Let's see if I can find this link because LinkedIn is actually hosting this event to tell you about the updates that are happening on the platform. So this is super important for anybody who's on LinkedIn. So I'm going to go off script here and look for this link for you. And you know, I've talked about a lot of things and I could have been posting links, but this one I think is really important if you are interested in LinkedIn. Okay. It's being hosted by, I tell you what, I'm just going to post a person's Twitter handle. 
This is the Twitter handle of Robert Hanna. And Robert Hanna is a, the person who's going to be hosting this special LinkedIn with um, the folks from LinkedIn. And he's been working with them behind the scenes to help build out LinkedIn audio events. All right. But I'm just going to read to you what they're going to talk about because they're going to roll out a bunch of new features. Now, they may not roll them all out tomorrow, but this is what they're going to talk cover. Discover, discoverability. That's always number one. Everybody always wants discoverability, right? Co-hosting, because they don't have it right now. Um, seamless scheduling, because their scheduling is kind of clunky. Invitations, improvements. So to invite your connections on LinkedIn. Event resources. Back channel conversations. So between hosts and co-hosts, because first I got to introduce the co-host. Then when they do introduce co-hosts, because Twitter has this already, then they're going to have a way for back channel. Now with Twitter, it's just the, the DMs, but this is going to be specific on LinkedIn. And we'll hear more about it tomorrow afternoon. I, I believe it's at 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and topics for upcoming, oh no, that, that's what this is. A list of topics for the upcoming LinkedIn audio events. And in-event in event communications. So there you go. All right. <laughs> Whew. I did a LinkedIn audio last week. Oh, yay. But wouldn't you have loved if you had been able to record that, Alice? Now, for those of us who are in Ecamm, even though I had a little glitch earlier, you know, you, we can record. You just have to put it on LinkedIn. Oh, I got to tell you all about a feature of LinkedIn that nobody else has. This is an amazing feature. You may want to check it out just because of this feature. <laughs> and that is... You can seamlessly go back and forth from desktop to your phone. Back and forth. Everybody need to have this feature, y'all. Uh, YouTube need to get on the ball with this feature, too, where you could go back and forth. No, because you can't do that. <laughs> from even on a live stream, you can't go back and forth from your phone. You might be able to, but it's not seamless. This is seamless. Like nobody knows that you went from your phone, except for they might hear a difference in the audio quality. So that's how they would might say, hmm, sound a little different now. And so that's why you would want to do it. And also, um, you know, when you're on your desktop, you can navigate through other tabs and all that. You can't really do that if you're only on your phone doing a LinkedIn live audio event. You can't really navigate through to other resources and things like that. So anyway, looking forward to, to what is to come with the LinkedIn, but in the meantime, savoring the moment with Twitter and all these updates come to YouTube because YouTube is really just blowing everybody out the water. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, and Bobby's going to test it this week with her sister and Alice is saying yes. And the recording is a big deal. It is. And so it, on this list, recording was number two. No, it was number three because discoverability was first. Because LinkedIn made this list of things that they're going to cover in this agenda. Discoverability was first, then co-host, then recording options. This, I, I wrote down word for word what it said on the agenda. Recording options. Don't know what that means. Now, this is one, something that I said that I was kind of critical about LinkedIn. And I felt like LinkedIn should have the third party integration. They should open up the API. If they don't want to do recording, they should open up API so that people can come in. Uh, developers like our wonderful, wonderful developer who has created the Spaces dashboard on Twitter Spaces because of the Twitter API. And the Spaces dashboard is just incredible. I've done a few videos that included covering the Spaces dashboard. But LinkedIn could do something like that. And somebody said, well, LinkedIn is just in the beginning stages. I said, no. But remember, when LinkedIn started live streaming, and even to this day, it's only through third-party integrations. 
and the API. Okay, so it has nothing to do with them being new. They're just trying to be cautious, I guess. So when I see recording options, I'm not sure what that means. It could be through third-party apps, or maybe they're just going to build it into the platform. What y'all think? What y'all think? Any improvement would be an improvement. <laughs> Absolutely. But like I said, I got to give LinkedIn credit. And this is why I love that we have choices and we can play with these different platforms and experience all these different features. But that going from phone to desktop, nobody tops that. But that's just that one feature. <laughs> And Gretchen says, oh, yes, I'm heading to Africa for two weeks. So I pre-recorded shows and scheduled them in, as premieres while I'm gone because my story circle crowd is so faithful that I know I needed to show up even when off grid. Yes, they're going to miss you and we're all going to miss you, but we're going to hopefully see over on Instagram some pictures of what you're doing there. And exactly where are you going in Africa, Gretchen? I think I remember, but I don't want to quote the wrong thing. So <laughs> too much stuff in my head. Mm -hmm. And Bobby said, wisdom does that. Oh, I didn't know. Does wisdom let you go back and forth from the desktop to the mobile? Is that what you're talking about? I didn't. If that's the case, I didn't know because I don't use the wisdom app. You give such great tips. Thank you. Chit chat with T. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. All right. So I think I got everybody's comment there. And so here's what I want from you all. <laughs> oh, Gretchen. Wait, the comment didn't come in ECAM yet. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> You always bring so much value and knowledge. I learned so much from you. Oh, Gretchen, thank you so much. I, I truly appreciate each and every one of you who has been here with me today. You yelled at me when I made big, huge mistakes. You stuck in there. You hung in there with me because you knew I was going to bring you the goods and drop some gems. Right? <laughs> and also because y'all just like me and I like y'all too. I love y'all. In fact, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your Saturday morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world and, and spending some of it with me. And I love to see you on Twitter. And, you know, honestly, I just love that you all are creating content and sharing your gifts. <laughs> You know, the, the worst thing we can do is just to hold everything in. The fact that we are gifted, we've been blessed with gifts, with talents, you know, it, whether it's the gift of gab or to be able to draw anything with a pencil or with Procreate and a computer, <laughs> you know, or to be able to capture images of some kind of beast in the wild. So many gifts that we have. And the fact that we are giving and want to share these gifts with the world. This is why, and you know, it's no coincidence that we're all together here in the same space. There's no coincidence. You can't think it's a coincidence. You got to know that there's a reason there's the energy that draws us all to one another. And so this is why I love my community. This is why I love you. I always start off by saying hello, beautiful people, because I know that there's a beautiful story inside of you. And I'm so glad you're letting it come out. And I start by saying hello, beautiful people. And I end. Oh, but before I end, I got to read this comment here. <laughs> love you, lady. You're truly the best. And Bobby says, so, so lovely to see you live is like old times. Thank you so much for your valuable information and making me smile. Always love you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. All right. So I always start by saying hello, beautiful people. And I always end by saying stay beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>